Right. 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 But n of 0 is nothing but small, small f. Okay. So small okay. Right? So this is how we are getting. And mind that the next subsequent uh, term will contain the four terms here. You see here 2, here 3, and so 4. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So this is the the use you can write you have to write the use expression now it will be easier for you right so this is the general expression now after this general expression it is very difficult to handle with such large number of terms from left side right side so you have to write a general term and this general term will be the k term right so the k term okay the General term or kth order term can be written, can be expressed as this. How? So you can write. Yes? Hmm. How can you write? Yes, this is the first order. This is zero. Order. This is second order. So what was your k order? Right. So, uh, but you have to write. This is this is my right hand side. What will be my left hand side k order term? This is zero order. This is first order. This is second order. This is third order. And I have to write the k term. Right? And we put to that, I can equate the terms. Both sides. Both sides. So, writing the general term, I mean the general term means of the k term, and equating the term in both sides of same power, means here I have considered the k power. So, term same power. Or uh, this uh, alarm says yeah. So this is the one power, this is two power. So I can equate the term. So if I'm before going to this term, I can write the lambda k. So but before going to this uh, lambda k, let me equate the term. So you write equating. Yes, equating <coughs> the coefficients of the same power of lambda in the both sides of this expression, both sides of this expression, then, but we put to that. <coughs> also can cancel these two terms, right? Because as you know, the energy identical equation for the unperturbed momentum S zero and cat we know it. S zero and cat is equal to epsilon of n and cat. So that is why this can be equated. Now the first power when equated, so we can write, it's a little bit difficult for me to go down, it should have been raised a little bit upward, so that I can use the maximum possible space available in the plan. So now we will the first power of both sides, lambda. So what is the first power, coefficients of the first power of lambda in left hand side? S0 S0 times N1 plus S times 
n two. I mean, small n two. Am I right? A is equal to what is that? Yes, epsilon n into n one cat plus e n one. This is one equation. Equal to the first power of the one. Similarly, equal to the second power of the one. I can write s zero here. S zero n two cat. Plus s s n one cat. Right? A is equal to what's the power of two of lambda? Power two of lambda here. Again, the same epsilon n when it is n two k. Here also n two k plus e n one. Times the n one k plus ah uh, plus e n Oh, e n two of right. This is zero divided by one divided by two. So e n two of n two. 